Well, on a two-week whirlwind drive across the United States a few years back with my wife and kids, we stopped in Arizona for the night. We bought a room at a motel, and I began unloading our luggage from the back of our car. It was around 9.30 p.m. at this time. While unpacking the bags, my wife tapped me on the shoulder and says, Look. I turn around and see a guy walking towards me. He looked like he was stoned out of his mind. He then said, I need some money. My truck broke down and some other sad song. I said, absolutely not, and you need to back off. He turned around, took one step, turned back around again, and then I heard click. He said, yo, Holmes, how about I take your effing money? I reached in my pocket and say, click, how bad do you want it? He looked at my knife, and I guess he decided that he must not want it to get cut and took off, probably to look for an easier target. We reported it to the motel management, and they called the police, who showed up about ten minutes later, looked around and said that they couldn't find him. I was unsure about the carry laws for out-of-staters, so I just left that part out about the knife. Too bad we can't conceal carry in all fifty states. Then he would have bought a knife to a gunfight, and well... We all know how that usually ends.